Welcome to the quick setup guide for Rotor Rush utilizing a DX6 and this Orange RX USB dongle. First thing you're going to do is you need to add a new model which you are going to bind to this USB dongle. The easiest way to do this is just to click uh, the clear and the back buttons at the same time. Scroll down to add a new model. If you want, you can go ahead and choose the quad model type, but it's not necessary. If you want, you can change your name as well, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to go back to the main screen and turn off my transmitter. When I plug this dongle into my computer, I actually need to hold this button down as I plug it in. That's going to put the receiver into bind mode. It's going to flash rapidly, letting you know it's in bind mode. So then I will hold down my bind button on the top of my transmitter up here and turn the transmitter on. Alright, so now that we're bound, I'm going to go in, actually, uh, before we do that, I want you to go into your control setup and you're going to adjust your travels uh, for your altitude for the throttle. Actually, everything's going to go to 150. So, uh, but for this one, when the, the throttle's in the down position, you can adjust the low end. When you put it all the way to the top, then you can just adjust the top end. There we go. Now, inside of Rotor Rush, when you click the fly solo button, uh, you'll see this kind of a screen. So you press the C key for controller setup. Uh, this says Mac gamepad, uh, but uh, it, it still works. So which, whichever is showing up here, click to select that. Now with Rotor Rush, whenever you are adjusting your controller settings, always center your sticks before you save anything. And it's very important here for when you're configuring your, your, your transmitter, you center your sticks before you click the configure button. So my sticks are centered. I'm going to click configure and you're just going to follow the on-screen commands. Now I don't set up my aux switches, so I'm just going to click save at this point. So now you can see that each axis reads inside of Rotor Rush. 